But I don't even know what we're doing anymore. I'm just waiting to do our sponsorship. This is the final video. This is the last one, right? I'm here against my will. I'm just waiting. I'm sweating now. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle. And I'm Den. And this is Elle's Reptiles. This week, we are doing something we're super excited about, something that he has been looking forward to doing for a very long time, and that is giving our corn snake a more naturalistic environment. I always despised the way his tank looked. Uh, it just felt to me like we could have did so much better. I mean, a lot of people really liked it though. I, mean, I just wanted, I wanted something more realistic, I guess. So I was going for a little bit more of a barren theme, thus the plant, because that plant's cool. It looks even They haven't it's... seen the tank yet at this point. Oh. the beginning. <laughs> for a very long time, we kept our corn snake on Aspen because for a little while, that was what was supposed to be the best thing. And then we were looking at how to do a more naturalistic theme for him. And we saw on reptifiles.com that their most suggested substrate for corn snakes was a natural mixture. And we got excited about that. So we have redone his entire tank. We've given him a bigger tank. His setup in general is just better and more naturalistic. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by you guys by sponsoring our shop. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about the things that we sell. The best Etsy shop on Etsy. Let's get started. So for this build, first of all, Reptilian Den did all of this. I didn't do anything except for help with little things. So for our corn snakes new tank, we are actually using one of Zaz's super old tanks as a National Geographic brand. It isn't made anymore, but it comes out to about 70 or 75 gallons. And we are still going to use his heat pad just because he seems to really like using his heat pad. So I am just putting that on the bottom of the tank and I'm also putting the thermostat for the heat pad on the bottom of the tank directly above the heat pad. I used to always put these on the inside of the tank, but due to things that I've seen about snakes and tape, even though I've personally never had a problem, I just felt like it was probably better to just start putting the thermostat probes under the tank. The background of this tank is actually a PetSmart Thrive brand. This is just the 40 gallon breeder one. It is a very tight fit. So you don't actually have to use any kind of foam or silicone, but Wade likes to shove his body in any place that his nose will fit. So we did go ahead and put the spray foam in the cracks and just to seal everything up to make sure that he wasn't going to get himself in a situation where he was going to get stuck. And once that was all cured, we start to mix our substrate. For this substrate, we are using a mixture of repti soil, play sand, and just topsoil, the same Scott's topsoil that we always use for everything. And this was a recipe that we found on Repti Files, the one that they actually recommend for a more naturalistic setup. I think it's 40% topsoil, 40% repti soil, and 20% play sand, something like that. And we ended up really liking it. We had to use two bags of the repti soil, almost two bags of the topsoil, and like a third to a half of the bag of the play sand to make this work. And once all of that was done, Den went and found this plant from Home Depot Lowe's, I'm not really sure. This plant has been thoroughly cleaned. All of that that you see on the bottom isn't actually soil. This plant was just that root bound. He did not know this when he purchased it. This plant is actually one of Den's favorite parts of this entire tank because he wanted to go with a barren sort of almost desert-like theme a very arid theme and this plant basically does that all by itself. Then he just went through and pre-started some tunnels for Wade just so that he can have some starter places to run and hide if he needs to. This log was super cool to do that with. Again, like all the logs we use, we had got some very large pieces of driftwood a couple years ago when there was a big flood at our local river and we are still just using those pieces. So the wood has been properly sanitized and all that jazz. Speaking of pre-made tunnels, we also have his favorite hide in here that was sent to us a couple years back from Reptile Visions LLC and that is going to already be buried over his hotspot for him. And this, of course, is Wade's old tree stump log thing that was in his last tank. This is the stump that you see him posing on in most of the pictures on Instagram because he loves this log. 
you can kind of see here how that hide was hidden. We used lava rock to kind of push the substrate away from the entrance. And we actually ended up going back and putting another hide entrance on top of this hide just to really make sure that he couldn't cave everything in. And then to add some plants to make this tank a little more green, since this is going to be a drier tank, he added some succulents to it and a giant aloe vera that was definitely supposed to go in Zaz's future tank. And he decided that he was going to steal it and put it in this tank, but no hard feelings, I guess. And after the addition of the water bowl on top there, which we actually almost forgot about, this was basically the finished product minus the ring light that's on top. We are going to add some UV lights and grow lights on top of this tank, but this is basically the finished product. And he immediately goes and starts exploring things. That is one thing I absolutely love about corn snakes. They are incredibly active. But of course, as soon as we put him in here, he went into shed. So after this first day, we haven't seen him in a week. Other than this unfortunate timing, corn snakes are awesome for their burrowing and climbing and just being all around awesomely active snakes. There you go, now you can see the lights on top. There are two lights on this tank. There is a Reptisun UVA, UVB light and just a grow light for the plants. And that is it for this tank build. We're super excited about how it came out and we're probably gonna do something very similar when we finally do Zaz's bioactive tank with the substrate and stuff because that mixture was wonderful. Yeah, it was. So we were going for a barren theme on that uh, tank and uh, I really feel like uh, we did a pretty good job pulling it off. The plant we chose there, that shrub thing, I forget what shrub it was. We Googled it, it's safe for pets. That bush I picked, love that bush. I think it's so cool, like uh, it, even when it's alive, it kind of looks dead. So that's one thing I liked about it. Um, what else should I say? Oh, and I absolutely, so, be like, oh, uh, and I actually had a really good time too with that substrate, so I packed it all down and you, uh, I, I, I packed it all down and I put uh, little hides inside of it so that this... They will have seen that. More, we would have already talked about that in the voiceover. Oh. And we almost forgot to put that water bowl in, so... They're gonna see that in the video too. What do you want from me? As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by... Us! You guys! And you. <laughs> so if you didn't know already, we have an Etsy shop where we sell reptile related things like ledges to put in your tank for geckos to eat off of and shirts and sweatshirts and stickers and vinyls and tank boots and so many different things. Yes. And we have some of the coolest ledges on Etsy. I mean, as I was saying before, we have the coolest shop. Those mushroom ledges we have are fantastic. And now they come in a non-feeder ledge model. It's for people that actually have, like dart frogs or just other lizards that don't actually need that little or just people that just want to use it for decoration because they look awesome and we post new products on our etsy quite frequently so make sure to keep a check on mm. the shop to see what else we post and you guys are buying so much stuff we're having a hard time keeping up 
Yes, if you see something in our shop that we are out of stock of, just send us a message and let us know that you're interested in that. And we are trying to churn all this stuff out. We only have two machines and it feels like one is always broken. So yeah. we are constantly trying to keep up and making sure that we have things in stock for you guys. Thank you guys so much for continuing to purchase things from our shop and trust us to send you guys things. It's super cool that our shop has been able to do as well as it has. Thank you guys. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. Ha ha! I already put two up. So not now every year before I have to put another. No! <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you next year! <laughs> this week's Instagram shout out is for Sarah42597 for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out is right here because we're filming this video super far in advance. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's probably why I'm so tired today because I just spent all day. Because you built day. one tank. I spent all day building that tank. So I, I've always just absolutely despised the way that that... Let me put my hands up here. I absolutely just always hated hands are dirty. Uh, I always just despised the way the Aspen looked in his old tank and uh, it just, I mean he loved digging in it so edit that part. Uh, <laughs> let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Come right. with me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna send you this. I don't remember if I ever sent you this. I have 40 TikTok followers. I've never posted a single thing. And I just looked on, I was like, how are you guys finding me? I'm like, you're not even under L's Reptiles. Right? Thank you guys both so much. You are the bees. Nice. I was like, I thought that was mine. Oh, okay, go ahead. Thank you so much, and you are the bees' knees. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And you are the bees' knees. You see that hesitation? I'm sorry. <laughs> you started so fast. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, ready? Yes. Yeah. Thank you.